brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and your children and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you for today the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased. And we offer you our support in raising your children in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for these children and their families, and renewing our commitment to the Lord. ask of God's church for Brandon and Gabrielle. Baptism. In asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising them in the faith so that keeping God's commandments, they may love the Lord and their neighbor as Christ has taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? We do. Godparents, are you ready to help the parents of these children in their dreams? I am. Gabrielle and Brandon, the Church of God receives you with great joy. And in her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me, your parents and godparents, and also grandparents. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me, do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them and placed his hand on them. The gospel of the Lord. I guess I like this reading because usually when we have a baptism, we always have the parents and the children. And that is such a dynamic and crucial relationship between parents and children. And we need this same relationship ourselves and the Father, God the Father. So we are the children of God the Father. And so we got to be ready to accept his help and to listen to him and to do what he wants us to do. And because he's going to do it out of love for us, just as parents make their actions. And now we're going to do the prayers of the faithful. So, uh, when I finish, just say, Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Just say it with me. 
Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. For these children are about to receive the grace of baptism for their parents and godparents and all the baptized. Give this child, give these children new birth and baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection to join them to your holy body. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make them a faithful disciple and witness to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Lead them through holiness of life and the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make their parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to these children. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep their families always in your love. Lord, it's a baptism. Now we're going to have a short uh, litany of the saints. The response is pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. St. Brian of Aerosmith, pray for us. St. Christina, pray for us. St. Maria Gabriella, pray for us. St. Gabriel the Archangel, pray for us. St. Brendan the Navigator, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Now we're going to have the anointing with the holy uh, oil of catechumens. So this is the oil, this is a, uh, a prayer of anointing before baptism that asks for strength for us to resist evil. Almighty ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the evil, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin and make them the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in them through Christ our Lord. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Gabrielle, may the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation. In the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Christ the Savior protect you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The water is already blessed. It is holy water already. Now we're going to have the renunciation of sin and the profession of faith. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which children are baptized. So I'm going to ask you some questions in the response for parents, godparents, and Gabrielle and Brandon. The response is, I do. Do you renounce Satan? I, I do. do. And all his works? I do. I do. And all his empty shows? I do. Now we're going to have the profession of faith. It's a man. You believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and 
is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. You believe in us, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. so that when I stand straight up and then lean over. Yeah, that's good. It is your will, therefore, that Gabrielle should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you. Gabrielle, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brandon? It is your will, therefore, that Brandon should receive, but yeah, receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you. Brandon, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. Now we're going to have the anointing after baptism with the, with the sacred chrism. The sacred chrism is the oil that uh, many priests, prophets, and kings were, were blessed and consecrated with this oil. And it was also used in Jesus' time uh, when Mary washed the feet of Jesus with her hair to use this oil. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king until eternal life. new creations and have clothed yourself in Christ. May these white garments that you're wearing be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you and your children to be kept burning brightly so that your children, enlightened by Christ, may always walk as children of the light and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. And this is now we're going to have the blessing of the Epica, which is on the ears and the lips, and that's so that you can hear the word of God, and proclaim the word of God. May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak, grant that you may soon receive his words with your ears 
and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Brothers and sisters, ye children are reborn through baptism. You now call the children of God, so we indeed feel faithful. So let us say the Our Father together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we have the final blessings, and there's three blessings. We bless the mother, we bless the father, and then there's a blessing for next time. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mother of these children, so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her children, she may also remain united with them in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. May the Lord, God Almighty, the giver of life both in heaven and on earth, bless the father of these children, so that together with his wife, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of faith for their children. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people. And may he bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.